Hi friends, how are you doing? Today, I want to share with you a few tips that's going to transform your learning completely. At Cogitaire, we believe in the methodology of learn, grasp, and retain. And today, I want to look at the learn phase, especially the practice of learning slowly. Never learn a concept with a sense of urgency. I have my exam tomorrow, I have 15 minutes time and I need to finish it. No, don't do that. When we learn a concept slowly, we pay attention to the context, the constraints, the terms used within the concept. What is their meaning? What are their units? What is the associated formula? Are there any graphs that we need to prepare? And where is this concept going to be used? A student who was having the chemistry exam next day came and asked me, ask questions about chemistry. I said, okay, uh, talk to me about Boyle's law. Very confidently he says, P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. So I ask him, uh, what is P1 V1? He says, P1 is pressure, V1 is volume, with the uh, eyes rolling. Then I say, what is pressure? Which one's pressure? Which one's volume? Then he is now not so confident. He says, atmospheric pressure. And I say, what volume? He says, uh, volume of the air. So this demonstrates that he has not learned the concept clearly. As we all know, Boyle's law talks about the inverse relationship between volume of a gas and its pressure or we can say volume is inversely proportional to pressure temperature remaining constant or PV is equal to K. The next tip that I want to talk about within the learn phase is visualization. Textbooks are filled with a lot of information and learning does not mean one has to remember everything verbatim. Visualization is the art of converting these uh, words into ideas, into images. Close your eyes for a minute. When I say the word banana, what comes to your mind? You visualize the banana. You see the banana yellow color, you see the stalk, you see the curvature of the banana, right? It's all imagery. We don't use words to describe a banana. Visualization forms includes making doodles, drawings, flow charts, mind maps, simply closing the eyes and visualizing the concept. All these are valid. The idea is to convert the text into visual information. For example, if a student wants to learn about Newton's first law, which states that uh, an object continues to move with uniform motion until and unless it is disturbed by an external force. One good way for us to imagine an object moving with uniform motion could be an asteroid traveling through space. Many famous scientists, including Einstein, Schrodinger, Galileo, have used the benefit of these visualizations in their famous thought experiments for understanding critical concepts and giving us fantastic science. But all of that is for a later video. 